about set. Field of five to contest the first over 1,000 metres. Starter goes to the platform. Ready for a start. Set in the first here at the Sapphire Coast. Looks across the line. Settle better now. Light on. Just about ready. Starter goes to the button. Ready to run. Let's them go there racing. Bleep a little slow to begin there and Northside won the start. Will lead on settling down. Strike time driving through and up towards the lead as well now is Bleep driving through on the inside. They're followed by Lavicia Laveau and last of all is Gold Tarlac coming down with about 650 to go and Northside the leader by a length and a half over Bleep. Over on the outside strike time is third. Then three lengths away in the field there came Lavicia Laveau and uh, last of all as they're about to swing the home turn was Gold Tarlac. They swing around the home turn Turner, north side the one to catch, a couple in front. Bleep getting up on the inside there, followed by strike time. And at the head of the rest was LVC Laveau in the straight now with 300 to go. North side out a couple in front. Strike time and Bleep trying hard. And then came LVC Laveau from Gold Tarlac. It's a north side sprinting clear, two in front. Out after it on the outside is strike time. But north side kept going near the line for rider Paul Rowe. And north side will take out the first by two lengths. Second placing strike time, third Bleep. In behind them came... Alvisia Laveau and Gold Tarlac was last in. Stand by for the placings on the first. You'll find at Northside, Paul Rowe. The gun best of all. Led them settling down. Fleet was a little slow out. It uh, hunted up then to be running second and third in the run on the inside, but it was all Northside. Led from barrier to post. We're about to get the placings officially. Here we go, number three is the winner. North side of the first on the program here in the race time of 56.53. Second going to one strike time and third to number two bleep. So it's 3-1-2 on the first. 56.53 was the race time. Number three, the winner, North side, who's up now. Just the two out of front here, Superior Sovereign. Those bright cerise and yellow gold colours stand out well. This one turns away again, Dreamtime Lass. 1100 the journey, Dreamtime Lass side onto the stalls at the moment. The others stand well, Rad on the inside, Superior Sovereign. Now straightened up once again and moves forward, Dreamtime Lass, so we're just about set for a start. 1100 the journey, race two, Rado Bulging, class one. Starter looks across the line. Inside runner Rad. Starter goes to his position. Just about ready now for race two from the Sapphire Coast. Lights flashing. Looks a pretty good line. Set and racing this time, a fairly even dispatch too. Rad won the start on the inside. Frost free showing some pace with rare silk in the early stages. Wider out on the track, Dreamtime Lass, they're well bunched. In behind them, then along the inside came Trecento and Superior Sovereign up in that bunch as well. Back third last now is a Market Walk. Dropping back to second last is Frost Free and bringing up the rear is Vagabond King. They're well bunched down the side. Rad a narrow leader. Rare Silk's up in that uh, forward division as well along with Superior Sovereign. They're followed by making a run, Dreamtime Lass wider out around them. In behind them came Trecento, then came Market Walk who's uh, well back there with Frost Free and uh, bringing up the rear is Vagabond King. They swing the home turn and Rad straightens up narrowly in front. In second placing over on the outside, Superior Sovereign. Then came Trecento in behind them. Frost free down the outside with a good run from Rare Silk. And at the head of the rest was Dreamtime Lass. Going to the lead now, the top weight. Frost free. Frost free sprints half a length in front. Rad on the inside. And here comes down the outside, Vagabond King with a strong burst and late market walk. It's Frost free in front. Frost free hanging on and wins narrowly. Vagabond King second. Third placing over on the inside would have gone to Rad. Then came Market Walk. In behind them then came Trecento along the inside. Then out wider, Superior Sovereign. In behind them, Rare Silk. And uh, bringing up the rear of the field was uh, Dreamtime Lass. Good, keen affair, that one. Coming down the side, there would have been about three lengths between first and last in the field of eight. Well bunched. In the straight, Rad had kicked to the lead on the home turn. 
and out of the bunch came Frost Free to join in and it is hung on in the run home, Frost Free. Good strong effort. The swoopers were coming down the outside including Vagabond King out shortly. Meritas Grey, the grey in the race. Meritas Grey walking forward. Just about set for a start. In fact we are now for race number three, the light goes on. Carter coming to his dispatch position. Third on the program over the 1200, the Steve Coleman Country Class 3 plate. They're ready and he lets them go. They're racing this time. A little slow to go. Catch me, Kate, along with Mittens. Winning the start down on the inside there is Hurricane Henry. It will lead on settling down in a well-bunched field. Mr. Quangtart driving through as well. Out wider, Angry Jat. Now very wide, Meritas Grey. Just in behind them then came Forest Call. In behind them, Hurricane Henry. Improving around the outside is Maxima Star. Mr. Lomu's got back to second last and Mittens last of all. 800 to go. And the Grey, Meritas Grey, goes to the lead. In second placing on the outside is Angry Jat. Then came Mr. Kwong Tart in behind them. Then came Mr. Lomu and Catch Me Kate improving around the outside. They're followed by in a well bunched field. Wider out on the track came Forest Call as they're about to round the home turn. Mittens back uh, towards the rear into the straight they swing. And Meritas Gray, a narrow leader. Angry Jat out after it. Mr. Kwong Tart goes to the inside. Then came Hurricane Henry and wider out on the track was Catch Me Kate and uh, Forest Call looking for a way through uh, on the outside. They come down with about 200 metres to go. Mr. Kwong Tart's driven through to take the lead. Hurricane Henry on the outside from Catch Me Kate and then came Meritas Grey. It's over on the inside. Mr Quangtart being grabbed by Hurricane Henry in the centre. Hurricane Henry might be going home a bit. The better it is. Hurricane Henry just got there I fancy from Mr Quangtart. Not a lot in it. Catch Me Kate third. In behind the Mittens who made up ground. Then Meritas Grey. Forest Call. In behind them then up along the inside. Mr Lomu. Angry J Jat was well back and Maximus Star finished just ahead of it. Stand by for placings. Pretty close go here between Hurricane Henry on the outside. Mr. Kwong Tart, 110.98 was the time. Judge will go for a photo here. Computer image will be up on the screen shortly. Standing by for the numbers. 110.98 is the race time. Again, a keenly contested affair with racing. Yo. metre mark for race four. Four out of five here at Sapphire Coast today, the second last. Our starter about to come to his position, switches on the light, so we're ready for a start. Some of these have been in a while now, they're the starter going to his dispatch point. 900 the journey, race four. Looks across the line. Sets them off and they're racing this time. Slow to go, just call me. Winning the start there, driving up in the centre. Would be fuzzy wind in the early stages. Up there as well in the early stages is Briar Court and driving right through Barnett. Barnett leads settling down. Up on the outside, Briar Court second. They're followed by Sis O'Neill. In behind them then came Cam Joe. Wider out on the track then as they're about to round the home turn. In behind them then came, well back out of its ground was Marasan. Very wide then came Copper Dot back between runners. And wider out then was Rebel Jewel in the straight now. Barnett takes the lead over on the inside. Sis O'Neill going for the inside. They're followed by further back in the field. Running on down the outside was Briar Court and Marasan getting up along the inside. Just call me at the head of the rest with Cam Joe and, Bri and Rebel Jewel in the run home though. Over on the outside Briar Court ranges up to Barnett and getting up along the inside is Sis O'Neill. A great go to the line. Over on the outside Briar Court's got the money. Second placing up along the inside might have gone to Sis O'Neill just in front of Barnett. They're followed by in behind them to uh, pull up was Just Call Me, who made up some ground in the run home from Rebel Jewel. In behind them then to pull up would have been Copper Dot. There followed by well back out of its ground was uh, Cam Joe pulling up quickly and uh, one of the last in was Miss Lady B Sweet. Standing by for our placings after race number four on the program. Numbers about to come. Just about set for the last race five. Field of 12 to run here. Starter turns on the light. Last event on the program, 1200 the journey. Just about set to go. 
Starter grabs the button. Holds them. Now he lets them go. Circuit bid begun well down on the inside. A little slow to be go, Bogong Hill. So as they settle down into stride and Princess Gorgeous driving up towards the lead, along with Kasparama the Grail on the inside. They're followed by further back, driving up along the inside with Circuit bid, just off the pace, multi-facet. In behind them then as they settle down into stride, would have been over on the outside, Seattle Roo. Uh, they're followed by back in the field, then came over on the outside there, improving, would have been... A Wrangler, they're followed by Aquaman, who's back out of its ground. In behind them came Lucky George, who's back towards the rear of the field, along with uh, Spirit of the West, and last of all is All Our Heart. They're about to swing the home turn, and uh, driving through over on the outside now, Princess Gorgeous is one of the leaders as they swing for home. Uh, up there as well in the field as they swing for home over on the inside uh, making a good run now is uh, circuit bid from behind them they're followed by the grey pushing through Kasparama and uh, wider out on the track unwinding a, a good run down the outside now came Aquamanta in the uh, shadows of the post it's uh, over on the outside now uh, coming home uh, quickly there is uh, Gwyneth Gwyneth ranging up quickly to grab uh, circuit bid and Gwyneth will race away Gwyneth scores second placing over on the outside Bogong Hill circuit bid pushed through for third all our heart made up ground. In behind them then to uh, pull up there would have been uh over on the inside came Aquamanta. Then in behind them, Spirit of the West, who was well back out of its ground. Uh, Lucky Georgie was back there, along with Seattle Rue to pull up. And it was amongst the tail enders, Multi Facet just up ahead of them. Uh, and Princess Gorgeous in the bunch as well. Uh, good go in the last. 1.11.33 the time. Gwyneth. Over on the outside. 1.11.33 the time on the final event on the program here at the Sapphire Coast. Stand by for the placings. Number eight, Gwyneth. Come out of the ruck, has run home well, hit the lead with 100 to go. Has been too good. Bogong Hill has snuck up in the centre for second and... Uh